I'm Tom. There's a new album out by Silk Sonic. It's got Bruno Mars, it's got Anderson Pack, it's got jazz chords. It's fantastic. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on Smoking Out the Window, which is the latest single. I'm going to go through the verse, the chorus, and also the bridge part. There's also some really kind of interesting special parts about the bass line and just the kind of track in general. So I'll run through those as well. Now the main riff is pretty basic, but the first thing is that with that slide, there's like a rhythm to that slide. And it's quite cool because you've got that second degree of the scale, so it's bringing that E minor 9 chord. So it kind of like just gently kind of pulls into that chord. So just be kind of conscious of the rhythm of that slide into that F sharp. Now with the staccato part, on the track, it sounds like it's almost been played with a pick, like there's quite a lot of attack. I don't know if they're using an effect or something, but something you can kind of do to try to get, make it kind of sound a bit more attacky is kind of by playing closer to the bridge. So that's something you kind of kind of think about on that part. And you want to kind of keep those notes nice and tight. few bars of the chorus are pretty basic but one thing you need to be kind of conscious of is that in the first two bars you're playing over top of the G major chord so you've got the root the fifth and the octave but the rhythm in the first two bars is different so with the first bar we're going one and two and three and uh but in the second bar it's one and two and three e and so the rhythm of the second bar is faster at the end than in the first bar. And that's just kind of like these cool little things, little tricks that kind of just make it a little bit more interesting. And they all kind of accumulate to make the bass line sound great. My favorite part of the bass line and also this whole track is this ascending part here where we go. And you're expecting for it to resolve on the G. And the, and the thing about great music, it kind of toys with your expectations. So you think it's gonna to resolve to that G, but instead you actually play an A over the top. So we have this inverted chord. An inverted chord is where you have a chord like a G major, but over the top, you're actually playing an A. So it's just kind of like, it just kind of delays the gratification of the resolution of that passage until right at the end. So when you actually finally resolve it, it actually even sounds even better. So I, I love that. And when we f finally do resolve the chorus, we have this staccato part, which feels like a crescendo. One and two and three, ba. And then we finally slide up here. Now I'm playing it like this, where I'm all the way up here on the uh, 14th fret. And it's quite cool because you're going to slide up there. So kind of when you music goes up, it kind of tends to make it a bit more exciting. <laughs> So then I'm adjusting the way that I'm playing it by playing it uh, with my palm almost against the bridge. If you're finding this video helpful, please help me out by giving it a like. In the bridge, there's this cool movement around the G major seven chord where we're kind of going back and also playing that major seven, but it is tricky because you need to get your hands in a good position. You're actually shifting positions quite a bit. So fifth position, fourth position, fifth position, and back to third position, and then also back to second position. So it is a tricky movement around. I'll do it kind of slowly. And in that second bar, it's, it's a lot simpler. I'm just kind of playing that whole thing in second position. And in the fifth bar, we have a similar kind of movement uh, around where you're kind of having to shift positions quite a bit. And 
And in the final two bars, we have this great crescendo-like finish where we have this really punchy end. One and two and three and four. Two, three. Now this song has some amazing chords, and if you're interested in how to play chords on the bass, oh, check out this video next. And a big thanks to all my Patreons, especially my VIP patron.